Here are the clove and constrictor hitches. First the clove hitch. So you're going to tie around a object. Clove hitch is one round turn, cross over, keep going around, stay on this side of the standing portion, and thread underneath itself. So you should have a nice neat crossover where this portion traps both sides of your line. It's fairly secure pulling one way or the other way. And here it is again. One round turn, cross over, and keep going around, stay on this side of the standing portion and thread underneath itself. These two should be parallel right there. Cinch it up and it stays pretty secure. Now for an anchor you can take the hitch and put it behind the object you're tying around and tie your bowline. You can see this explained, this knot in another video. We always tie the bowline off with the Yosemite tie off. So the hitch is on the back and the bowline tied off on the front. So that's the clove hitch which is useful for tying around, for instance, a rough surface, a rough tree. If it's a more smooth surface, like a pole, you can use the constrictor hitch. So a constrictor hitch is tied similar. It started off similar to the clove hitch. One round turn, cross over, bring it around, this would be the clove hitch. The constrictor, we're going to go on this side and go under the X and pull snug. So the constrictor hitch is also symmetrical, just like the clove hitch, with this going over on top. Tighten it down, and it's very snug. It'll stay constricted, especially on a rough surface like this, but you can pull this way, that way for your anchor, and rotate it to the back, and tie your bowline, or whatever you're going to use for your anchor. So we'll do that one more time. One round turn, cross over, continue around, we go on this side, and under this X of rope and cinch it down, constrictor. If you happen to have access to the end of your object you're tying around, you can do the clove hitch by making one round turn, second round turn the same way, and then fold one on top of the other, and then go around your object. This is the same exact clove hitch. Again, it's one round turn, second round turn, the same direction, fold one behind the other, and go around the object. That's the clove hitch if you have access to the end. You can do something similar with, uh, for the constrictor hitch by forming a Z and take this loop on top of the line and this loop on top of the other line and fold them together. And again, you put it over the top of the object, tighten it up, and this is the same exact constrictor hitch. It's a quick way to tie the constrictor if you have access to the end. So form a Z. One loop on top, 
the other loop on top and fold it together. Cinch down. Rotate it to the back. Tie your bowlin. And that's your anchor. So that's the clove hitch and constrictor hitch.